Hello students, hope you all are doing well. Today in our EVS class, we will learn some fun facts about animals. Do you know, ostrich are bigger than any other bird in the world. They can grow up to 9 feet tall and can weigh up to 145 kilogram. And the bee hummingbird is a species of hummingbird which is the world's smallest bird. Now, let's move to our next fact. Before that, can you just tell me which is the biggest water animal on the earth? Yes, blue whale is the biggest water animal on the earth and it is found in ocean. Students, do you know who is the biggest land animal on earth? Yes, elephant. African elephant is the biggest land animal on the earth. They are known for their large ears. And they can weigh between 4000 to 7500 kgs. Next is giraffe. Yes, the giraffe is the tallest mammal on the earth. Their legs alone are taller than many humans, about 6 feet. They use their long necks to reach the leaves of tall trees. Now let's move to our next fact, snail. A snail can sleep for 3 years. Because snails need moisture to survive. So if the weather is not cooperating, they can actually sleep up to 3 years. Next is shark. Do you know some shark glow in dark? Because they have a chemical in their skin that make them glow. Next is owl. An owl can't move their eyeballs. In fact, owls don't have eyeballs at all because they have road shaped eyes that do not move in their sockets as eyeballs do. Instead, owls have to move their bodies or their head in order to look around. Let's move to our next fact about sheep unlike humans sheep have four stomach each one helps them to digest the food they eat why because sheep are ruminants which means they have four stomachs each stomach perform a different job during the process of digestion next is housefly the average housefly only lives for two to three weeks Usually, but in cooler condition, it may be as long as 3 months. Peacock only describe male. The females are called peahen. Different animals have different body structures and they eat different types of food. And the front part of an animal's mouth is suited to the kind of food it eats. So today we will learn about animals food or food habits of animals. Animals that eat plants and their products they are called herbivores. Such as cow, horses, goat and rabbit. One more thing. Herbivores like cows and buffaloes have sharp and broad front teeth to cut grass and leaves. They swallow their food without chewing it. Yes, and when they rest, they bring this food back into their mouth. They then chew it with their grinding teeth and this is called chewing the cud. 
Next is carnivores. These animals eat the flesh of other animals such as lion, tiger and wolf. And carnivores like lion and tiger have sharp pointed and slightly curved teeth. These help them to tear flesh. They also have strong grinding teeth at the back of their mouth. These help them to chew bones. Next, animals that eat both plants and flesh of other animals, they are called omnivores. Such as crow and bear. Let's move to our next category that is scavengers. These animals eat the flesh of dead animals such as hyena and vultures. Today we will learn how animals move. Animals move in search of food, shelter. They also move from one place to another to protect themselves from their enemies. They move in different ways. Like the elephant walks, the bird flies, the fish swims. Animals use different parts of their bodies to move. There are three ways how animals move on land, in water, in air. Let's learn how animals move on land. Elephants like cats, cows, buffalo and elephants walk on land with their four legs. Animals like Cheetah, horse and zebra are good runners. They use their strong legs to run fast. Some animals like apes, bears can walk with their two hind limbs. Animals like kangaroos, grasshoppers, and rabbits, they are hoping animals. Hoping animals move along by jumping on both feet. Reptiles like lizards, tortoise, turtles and crocodiles have legs but they crawl on the ground. I know you must be thinking what exactly is reptiles. animals that are characterized by their special way of moving. Many moves on its belly such as snake or on small short legs such as lizard. Animals like snakes and earthworms have no legs. They also crawl on land. Some insects like ant Lice and bugs have six legs to walk or crawl. All the insects have three pairs of legs like ant, lice and bugs. These have six legs to walk or crawl. There are some animals like spider, octopus and scorpion. These have eight legs to walk or crawl. Let's move to animals that can fly. Like birds, they have wings to fly. They move in the air from one place to another. Even some insects like butterflies have two pairs of wings to fly. The housefly have only one pair of wings to fly. Even bats have wings to fly. 
बट ऑल बर्ड्स कान फ्लाई सम बर्ड्स लाइक कीवी ऑस्ट्रिच एंड पेंगुइंस आर फ्लाइटलेस बर्ड्स दे हैव वीक विंग्स बिकॉज ऑफ विच दे कान फ्लाई बर्ड लाइक पेंगुइन कान फ्लाई थ्रू एयर बट दे कैन फ्लाई थ्रू वॉटर येस देयर बॉडीज आर स्ट्रीम लाइन देयर विंग्स आर मोर सूटेड फॉर स्विमिंग Now let's learn how animals move in water. Fish fish have neither legs nor wings. They swim in water with their fins. Next is turtle. The turtle swims with the help of their flippers. Frog and duck swim by pushing the water with their webbed feet. That's all for today. We will meet in the next class for the rest of the chapter. Thank you students.